What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number six. Today, I will be answering a question that Mr. TV Music had, and his question was basically, how do you change tempos in a Logic session without changing the entire uh, tempo of the entire track? And well, I'm going to show it to you right now in this episode of Tips and Tricks Thursday. Basically, let's go ahead and hit play as we usually do to listen to the track at 90 BPM. Let's go and hit play. All right, so that is my little Apple loop over there. Basically, it's very simple to change the tempos. Let's say I want this bar over here, these two bars to be uh, 90 BPM, this bar to be 120 BPM, and then the next bar to be 140 BPM. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will show you two ways in which you can do it. So let's go ahead and just change this bar over here with the first method to 120 BPM. So I'm gonna bring down my global tracks. Now in this tempo section, you'll bring it down and that is your tempo for the entire track. If you don't see the tempo uh, drop down menu when you hit the global tracks up here, hit control click and make sure your tempo, there is a check mark beside your tempo over here. And that will bring it up. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, so let's go ahead and make this second bar 120 BPM. So I'm gonna go to the bar and I'm gonna zoom in just so I get an exact uh, point of where I should put it in. And uh, oop, I am, yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on the bar right here to get um, to get an insert point for the tempo to tell Logic, hey, this is where I want to change it. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to double click again here on the end of the bar where I want it to change again. So I'm going to double click and there it is there. Bring out my pointer tool and I'm going to bring this up to about 120. And then if I hit play, you'll see that the tempo will start off at 90 and then it will change at 120. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so that is one method over there. It is a pretty easy method, but you do have to kind of get in close on the points because sometimes, I actually got it right on, but sometimes you don't really get it right on the bar that you need. It's kind of a little bit off and it kind of screws up things a little bit. So here's another way and a more pretty much more precise way to go about it. All right, so let's make this last bar 140. Sorry if I didn't, uh, did I say 140? Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like going back and checking, so sorry. I'm gonna make this last bar 140 and I will make sure that I am on the one, which I am, Let me just, now I am. And then you're gonna go up to here, options. You'll go to tempo, open tempo list, and you will hit create. Basically what that does, it creates a marker point, a tempo marker point of where your cursor is. And it tells you exactly, so at bar eight, it's gonna be 87 BPM. And hey, it shows right here what we did before that, right? So on bar six, which is this one, it's 120 BPM. And on bar one to four, let's just say, it's uh, 90 BPM, but we, cause we didn't start on bar one, but it goes to bar four, to, sorry, it goes to bar six at 90 BPM. So there's our 90 BPM. Then it goes to bar six at 120 BPM. And let's make this last one. The beauty of here is that very easily changeable. So you can just click on it. And let's say we want, again, we want to make it 140. So let's go 140. And now we changed it again to 140. And now our tempo has changed. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play. Keep an eye on our tempo number over here to see it change as well as listen to the audio. You will hear it drastically change, go faster, and we will do it one more time to make it go slower at the end. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so let's say we want to take this last bar over here and bring it back down to the original BPM of which we had at 90. So again, we we'll drag it to the one. We'll go ahead and hit create and we will just double click here and hit 90. And it comes back down to 90 BPM at the end of the track. Let's go ahead and hit play. And as you can see, it shows you where the cursor is over there as the line goes down. 
All right, so there you have it. That's how you do tempo changes right there very quickly, very easily, just by opening the options, the tempo, and the open tempo list. And you can change it. your tempos from over there. If you want to change your tempo, if it's too fast, too slow, you can change it quickly over there. All right, and one more thing before I let you go. I just want to show you that if you don't want a hard change in tempo, you could also do a fade. Basically, what you'll do is you'll go to the spot where you want it to kind of gradually fade up into the tempo change. And you'll just click on the little dot that you have over here. I'll just zoom up. Zoom on in. Why is it not zooming? There we go. And we will just click on this little dot and just move it to the side. And you'll have a gradual tempo change in between. Well, gradual tempo, cha tempo change in between your tempo changes, right? Oops. All right, so there you have it, the gradual tempo change right there. And well, that is pretty much the tempo change in Logic. I'm sure there's more ways in which you can go about it, but these are just a few for you to kind of play with. I'm Anna from My Music Mogul. Remember to subscribe, rate my videos, and keep the questions coming in. I will try and answer them all. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next week. Later.